Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings 5 minute review. Today a bit of a different one. Here we go. We have a book called Blackout by an interesting German fellow. This is a proof so it's not something you'll find on the internet but uh, it's written by Mark Ellsberg and translated by Marshall Yarborough. Published by Black Swan, an imprint of Penguin Books, Penguin Random House. This is a fairly dense read. It is what? 450 odd pages, and they're fairly small pages with small type. What's it about? Well, it starts off on a cold night in Milan, it says on the back. Manzano slams on the brakes. The traffic lights, green a moment ago, have suddenly gone out. Cars are piling up around him. Amid the screams, the street is now pitch black. This is just the beginning. Someone is wiping out the power all over Europe. But who are they and can Manzano stop them before it's too late? Well, no he can't. That's not exactly rocket science. That's a bit like saying at the beginning of Jurassic Park, does one of the Tyrannosaurus Rexes get out? Oh well, yes it does or there wouldn't be a story. Okay so here we go. This is a million copy bestseller across Europe. It is fabulously popular across Europe. In the UK it hasn't been heard of too much. I wonder why. It is the story of how Europe there go some horses. Bit of a distraction. They've got horse riders going past waving at you in the window. This is the story of theoretically how Europe could be brought to its knees. It's looking at electricity and how easy would it be to knock out all of the power stations and the grid across Europe. And the interesting conclusion of this is ludicrously easy actually because in the same way that in only recent years the Americans managed to plant code into Iranian nuclear producing uh, equipment and basically destroyed a lot of their ability to create nuclear material so that they could power their nuclear weapons program in the same way this book postulates you could do something with the internet and affect everybody. Now it's not giving away a huge amount of the story to say that this is the sort of prediction of what could happen in a fully connected internet connected world. You plant a small amount of code that will affect none of the devices you plant it in on but then because of the web it could work its way through to major infrastructure and destroy them. That's a very interesting premise. What's even more interesting is that this has been taken so seriously across Europe and the States that the author of this book has been invited all over the place to give talks. Now originally he was I think a reporter but He's a thriller writer as well and he says as a thriller writer naturally one is very happy about placement on best-selling lists translations and selling film rights but to my surprise since the book's publication in spring 2012 i've been invited by numerous national and international political institutions public and private organizations as well as corporations to give lectures and hold discussions it has become standard literature in many companies Blackout wasn't only featured in the culture pages and on TV segments focused on books, but was also discussed in the economic, scientific and information technology media. In December 2012, a highly respected jury of economic journalists recognised Blackout as Germany's most thrilling tropi topi tropical? topical book of the year. Blackout was already being assigned in schools as well. Blackout is fiction, but while I was working on the manuscript, Reality caught up to my imagination more than once. For example, my first draft in 2009 predicted a manipulation of power plant SCADA systems. At that time, even experts considered this possibility either barely feasible or completely far-fetched. 
until Stuxnet was uncovered in 2010. It was the same story with the danger presented by the backup cooling systems at nuclear power stations until the disaster in Fukushima. Just before Christmas 2015, three years after the first edition, the Ukraine reported the first cyber attack causing a large power outage. So basically this guy took a completely theoretical concept and since he wrote it, the world has been catching up with his book. It is not, I have to say, in the same league as, say, Frederick Forsyth. It is not quite such a rattling good yarn as that, but it is really well thought through. The characterization is good. You're given quite a lot of characters, so it, there's a certain lack of focus there, which sometimes grated slightly. But basically, I think it's highly readable. The concept is fantastic. And it's the sort of thing that more people should be reading and being aware of. So if you haven't heard of it before, this is a highly recommended Blackout by Mark Ellsberg. <laughs> He's quickly checking with a very good translation by Marshall Yarborough. I think every home should have a copy. What more can I say? Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed that, please go down to the bottom. There's a Patreon link and there you can help support this channel. And there's also the place where you can put comments, where you can, if you've read the book, please add your comments. You can subscribe, hit the bell button if you want to be notified about future videos and also like it and share it and all that stuff. You know what it's all about. And now for me, I think it's time for another cup of tea and thinking about getting back to work. It's a hard life. Cheers. Take care. Thanks for watching.